If you're a gamer and you mainly play physical games, you want to watch this video. Let's get into it right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games and thank you for stopping by. In this video, I want to discuss a problem that we have with the PlayStation 4. Now, we do know that the PS3 and the PSP and PS Vita stores, they basically will be shut down so you can't buy any more digital games. And that is a problem because a lot of people have transitioned from basically uh, physical media to digital media in the last few years, right? So a lot of people are moving towards digital and so is the world. We have a lot more digital movies like streaming movies on demand and everything is moving towards digital stuff, right? So of course, people want to play games digitally, have them ready whenever they want to play like on demand, like Netflix and stuff like that with uh, Game Pass and PlayStation Now and just buying a digital game and have it in on your PS5 or PS4 because you don't have to wait to get the disc, get it and insert it into your PlayStation and then play it or whatever. You don't have to go through that. Now, the main problem about digital games is the fact that, God forbid, your account gets hacked or maybe you lose access to your account or the servers go down or whatever, you'll lose your games. You won't physically own them. You, you don't have real ownership of the games if you lose that information. But physical games, however, you own forever. They're physical thing that you can hold, you can use, you can put it in your PlayStation, you can have it on your shelves let your friends borrow it, you can resell them. And that is a good thing about physical games, right? However, there is a big problem with the PlayStation 4. And the problem is that the PlayStation 4 has a clock memory. And if that clock memory, you know, goes bad, it basically kills all your digital games. Not only that, guys, it also kills your physical games. So you cannot play any physical games or any games at all on your PlayStation unless that is corrected and fixed. Now, why do we care about that? Well, the thing is that, yeah, we have a new PS5 right now, right? It's a brand new console, whatever, so who cares about the PlayStation 4? Well, there's a ton, there's millions of PlayStation 4 units in the world that have been sold, right? So those units are eventually gonna go bad. Whenever they go bad, we can fix the clock or whatever ourselves, but the main problem is that Sony needs to reactivate that by connecting the PlayStation 4 to the server to reactivate that. Now, why is this even needed? Why is the internal clock even needed on a PlayStation 4? So it's basically to make sure that people don't cheat the system and cheat getting trophies by going back in time or whatever, you know, changing the time in the internal clock to go back and say they got a trophy at a different time or whatever. For example, so maybe you find a file somewhere online that has a bunch of trophies. Maybe there's a website out there that sells PlayStation trophies, right? Or platinum trophies. So you go ahead and you get 10 platinum trophies from whatever website that is. You download it to your PlayStation 4 and then you, you automatically have 10 trophies. Now, the problem with that is, and the good thing about the internal clock, is that you cannot have, you can't unlock 10 platinum trophies at the same exact time. It's just not possible because the system is, is going to be triggered and that internal clock is going to be like, all right, this is, this is impossible. You can't, you can't play 80 hours for one game, 40 hours for another game, and let's say all the games are whatever, how many hours. You can't play all those hours in a blink of an eye and get the platinum trophy for all those games instantly right so that just cannot happen so that is why the internal clock is there that's why that cmos is there and then that's the thing but when that goes bad it needs to be reconnected to the servers the sony servers so that it can uh you know keep working and needs that connectivity to the internet now when the ps4 goes bad in the future when that fails when that battery fails in the future you get a new battery, you fix the problem, the hardware side of it, maybe somebody makes a guide online or something on how to fix this, you fix that hardware side of it, and then you go to connect to the internet, to connect to the server, and guess what? PlayStation doesn't have that Sony server anymore because it's like maybe 10, 20 years in the future, and it's not there anymore. So all the physical media that you see behind me, all those physical games that I own, 
are going to be gone forever. Unplayable. I cannot play any of them on my PlayStation 4 because of that battery. So that is ridiculous. That is crazy. And it's basically like, what is even the point of having something like that? I know it deters people from cheating. It stops the whole cheating of platinum stuff. But at the same time, like that really sucks. I want to go ahead and move on to the computer so we can go look at this article. But before we do that, I want to thank Megatech Body. He's been a long time viewer of my channel. Thank you so much for letting me know about this. He's the one that told me about the whole thing of this battery and he gave me some information and I searched uh, the internet and I searched Twitter and I found that information. So Megatech, thank you so much, dude. Thank you again for all your uh, loyalty and always coming back and being active in my comments. But let's go ahead and move on to the computer. And then here we have the website I found is IGN India. And basically they did a little bit of research here. So they say here, if your PS4 clock battery dies, all your games die, which is ridiculous. But at the same time, you know, all the information is here. You can read it for yourself. I basically, what I said already, I summarized it for you. And I told you guys what the problem is. But there's tweets here from Lance McDonald. He is a well-known um, person or a hacker in the gaming community. You can check him out. He has information about it. He talks about it here. Basically, it says, this error is because trophies on PS4 require the internal system clock. The one, oh man, I clicked on the actual thing. Oh, that's funny. Anyways, let's, let's go ahead and go here to the to Twitter, I guess. So it says, this error is because trophies on PS4 require the internal system clock, the one you can't see, alter to be correct. So people can't change their PS4 date and name to make it look like they got trophies earlier than they really did. If your PS4 clock battery dies, all oh, your games die. So that's the craziness here, guys. All of your games are gone if that battery dies in the future, right? So if it dies now, you can you know set it up, fix it yourself, and then reconnect to the server because the servers are still active. But you guys know, like, you know, we've had servers in the past. I've died like Dreamcast servers and, and other consoles. I can't even think right now. Maybe like the, uh, the PS2 servers. Some of those games were play playable online. When those servers die, it, they're gone forever, you know? You can have your physical disc, but at the same time, the games cannot be playable because of this internal clock. If it goes bad, you fix it, reconnect. You cannot connect to the server to download the information and make the game playable, which is ridiculous. So a lot of people have to go, you know, a third party way or basically they have to they have to go the pirate way to get all these games pirated. They have to hack the games. They have to find the source code. They have to do all that stuff just to make sure they preserve these games. And I thought it was enough to have my games in physical format like you see behind me. I thought that was enough. I'm a huge advocate for physical media and right now this is horrible news so I'm, I'm really not happy about it guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this situation and they also go into the information here about the ps3 psp and ps vita stores basically those are going to be shut down as i already said and uh, you can't buy any more digital games you won't be able to buy any more dlc because yeah it's going to be gone and that is why I always thought that digital media was not as good as physical media because you always have your, you know, physical disc that you can play. But again, according to the PS4, if that clock dies, there's no server connectivity. It's gone forever, which is ridiculous. And uh, I'm pretty upset about that, guys. I mean, I don't know if Sony can fix that. I don't know if they have like a workaround or maybe something else is going to come out of that, guys. But if something is fixed and corrected... Please let me know, Sony, because that is pretty upsetting. So that's the gist of the news here, guys. I just wanted to make sure I talked about this on my channel. Again, thank you, Megatech Body, for letting me know. I'll leave all the links in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. Again, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. And I can't believe my physical games won't be playable in the future when the servers die and my CMOS battery dies. So I guess I have to take care of that CMOS battery, right, and make sure it doesn't ever fry. I don't know. It's just crazy. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Check out my content and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.